Why settle for one when you can't have both? Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I'm back for another video and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Take a sip. Mm. I need to slow down because this is a cocktail. Y'all see this? If you haven't been here before, I want y'all to click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel because I'm coming to you every week with new looks and somebody else's hair. Today I'm drinking house. Oh, this matches my vibe. I'm doing like a little cocktail. Moving on, let's go ahead and move on to the hair. So first I wanna say thank you to Atina Hair for sponsoring this video. The wig that's on my head is a 13 by six wet and wavy lace frontal wig. It is a two in one wig, so it's a kinky straight to curly wig. Do y'all remember how wet and wavy wigs used to be the only curly wigs that we had back in the day? So this wet and wavy wig is absolutely gorgeous because it doesn't go from straight straight, it goes from kinky straight. I ain't new to this, I'm true to this. I've been doing kinky straight to curly wigs since I was a little jet, okay? I actually, to my wedding, wore a kinky straight wig that turned curly. Like I said, this is the 13 by six, so she's giving you scalpiana. Look, look at that parting space. I mean, what? The density of this wig is 160% density, so all this hair is only 160%. Like, the wig originally came in 20 inches. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I had to trim it because the ends was dry. When it was, when I received the wig, the wig came in a kinky straightish blow dry texture. Kinky straight has like these tiny little kinks. This one came more like this, like more like a blow dried sort of fluffy look. There's a teeny tiny difference, but it still will be considered kinky straight. Once you wash it, it goes curly. And then I straightened it. I wanna show y'all the full life cycle of this wig. So if y'all wanna see what I did to get this gorgeous kinky straight to curly transition. Like girl, we went on a full adventure with this wig. If y'all wanna see how I did it, what I did, please keep on watching and then I will be back. So we're gonna go ahead and put on a wig cap. Uh, first, I'm gonna drink some tea. What time is it? It's 12.50 on a Thursday. Girl, I got like 10 minutes to pluck this wig cause I gotta get back to work. Y'all hear that? It's an email. First, we're going to pluck our wig so let me show y'all the wig look at her oh my god y'all know i love a blow dried moment oh right now i haven't washed her so it is still straight this hair is like a blow dried sort of straight situation typically i would have already washed her and then i pluck and style her but for this wig since it comes straight i can already cut it into a style that's gonna look good when it's straight and i can cut it into a style that's gonna look good when it's curly and when you layer a wig when it's curly and then you try and straighten it it be looking like edward scissor hands just you up in your sleep i love wet and wavy i don't know if y'all know back in the day what wavy used to be used to be the judge <sighs> okay so let's go ahead and toss on the unit oh look at her back there just bounces sis. i put on a really light skin wig cap because i really want to see the hairline and how much plucking i can get done when i'm plucking my lace y'all know what i like to use i like to use an eyebrow kit we're gonna take the tweezers out of the eyebrow kit and we're gonna start by trying to figure out how we want this to look let's see i like to part the hair down the middle i like to part behind the hairline and start at the back to start thinning it out and then i go forward and then I go backwards and then I go forward. If you've been here before, you already know how I do it. If you haven't, hey. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm just gonna go in. We're going, oh, these plug really easy. Okay, I'm gonna take this section right here and I'm just gonna concentrate on this for a minute. I'm really, I'm about to take off this robe. It's about to be that time of the month and for some reason around that time, girl, I get hot. What is that? And my skin is all greasy and whatnot, pimples all the way around, like I'm stressed. 
So I'm gonna part it again. I'm just gonna pluck right here. Pull it back and then I'm just gonna pluck this way. That looks so good. Okay, so now that we've done that part, we can move on to the next section. So I'm gonna continue to pluck, y'all can watch. I'm just gonna pluck, part, pluck, part, pluck. Like that. Okay, so we've already plucked the frontal. We need to cut this hair because whew, these ends, they don't feel smooth at all. They're really rough. The hair is soft and then you get to the ends and it's really dry. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna take a clip. Oh, I'm gonna do a professional like this. Okay. Oh girl, I'm just all over the place. Girl, what is that? That is nobody's even. That feels so much better. So I'm gonna cut bangs. And what I did in my last video was brush all the hair forward. So I'm gonna brush all the hair forward. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take this part. I did a triangle, brushing it all forward, and I'm gonna do an initial cut. Okay, so we're gonna do the long cut first. And I'm just doing let me act like I know what I'm doing. Gonna do another smaller triangle. Boom. That's a triangle for you. But I can't see on this side. My vision on this side is just bad. We just gonna cut her a wee bit shorter. So I'm gonna go like an inch up. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So please don't. Okay, then we gonna do one. We gonna probably do two more cuts. Let's do four. Cause I want layers, Miss Mama. This hair does not need that many layers though. It really doesn't. We gonna cut just a little bit more. <laughs> Girl, I probably need to stop now. We gonna part that one more time. And then we have like our tiny little bangs. And these are gonna go up like right to the chin, okay. Y'all, I'm just cutting. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't. No, ma'am. And on the sides, I just need to do a light little layer downwards. So I just parted that little sliver on the side. And I'm just going to do like a layer downwards like this. Like. 
long. Okay, so this side, I think that's the same. Is that the same as this side? No, we done came up with something. Let me flip this visor up. Let me show y'all the back. Y'all tell me if it's even. Okay. Um. Now that we have that complete, we're gonna go bleach the knots, wash and condition the hair, and then I'll be back with the look. Okay, hey, we're back and we have a fully washed wet and wavy wig. So I'm using the ZLA Flattening Souffle. This is a moisture rich, why am I reading this? It's a flattening souffle. Okay, so we're gonna take the flattening souffle and we're just gonna apply it to the hairline. Now you can do this on a wig head. Technically I prefer to do this on a wig head because it's just much easier but I like for y'all to see my face, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I did all this work to do my makeup, you know? So I'm taking my little baby hair brush and just brushing the hairline back. Y'all, can y'all tell me why this lace is so long? Like, it's like a lace bang. Like, what's up? Like, have y'all seen lace this big? We need all that. So I'm going to take the wrap it strips and i'm going to mold the hairline i'm gonna fold it in half and then tie it in the back we're gonna just go ahead and let that dry i think it takes like 30 45 minutes but if you're gonna use a blow dryer it'll take like 20. and then i will be back So we've already taken the hairline down. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. And now we're about to flat iron the hairline, make her flat, make her look good. So I'm just gonna take it. Ooh, be careful, girl. I always start shaking on this part, probably because I'm hungry, girl. I ain't eating that. It's done do y'all see like the difference like it looks like it's coming straight from your scalp okay so now that that's complete you all already know what time it is it's time to cut off the lace because then we can apply the weight look at that hairline though Ooh. Okay, so the lace is cut. We're gonna go ahead and attach this wig cap as we always do. I'm gonna spray down this wig cap. Y'all know I don't do the ball cap method. I told y'all I got too much to do. I got a man, I gotta eat, I got, I got a job. I can't be out here trying to do the ball cap method. I'm going to use the got to be high insta hold spray and we just gonna spray on until she sticks. This wig cap is dry, girl. She ain't going nowhere. 
Okay. Now it's time to apply our wig. Ooh, I'm excited to see if this works. I'm not trying to give y'all Teresa Judice hairline, so we about to pull this back. We're going to go ahead and apply the wig. Okay, so I'm going to apply the wig using my little black owned product. I love this stuff. This is the wig dealer melting spray. So I'm about to take my little bowl that I just used to color hair. There's probably some bleach still in it and I'm probably gonna burn off my hairline. And we're gonna spray the product into it. So we have our little wig dealer spray in there. We're gonna take our coloring brush, dip it in, and I'm just gonna press it in the area that I want to apply my lace. And I like to cover the whole area. Let me just blow dry it for like two seconds. I'm just gonna put it right there. And we're just gonna hold it down. I think I may have overcorrected with my hairline. <laughs> she far back and real highlighted. What is that? Okay, so we're about to do our natural baby hair. So I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of hair and I want natural baby hairs, listen. So I'm gonna take one of these clips and I'm just gonna clip the hair back. If you've been here, you already know what's up. And we're just gonna cut. Boom. I'm gonna lay down the baby hairs using my little, my little thing thing. Y'all, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm using the Got To Be Glue gel. So we're just gonna brush them and lay it down. See, <gasps> look how cute. Girl, that is a baby baby hair. That's an infant hair. And I'm gonna do another little baby hair cause I need to cover up this little ashy lace. I don't know what's going on with my lace, but it's ashy today. So I'm just gonna cover it up. Y'all can just watch as I work. Okay, so I did all them little tiny little baby hairs, infant hairs. Now I'm about to just melt this hairline. I'm still, it's still giving me like reflection. I don't know what that is. Either way, hopefully melting this hairline will kind of calm that down. And also while I'm doing that, I want to add some moisture to this hair because <laughs> it's looking crazy, girl. Am I gonna do mousse? I'm just gonna do some water and see what happens. I just don't want to put a lot of product on it.
those curls though. They're so pretty. So now that the girls have been curls have been clumped, we're gonna let the hair dry. I'm gonna let the hairline melt, and then I'll be back in like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so we have dried our hair. Y'all, my hairline been sitting for way too long. Let's go ahead and take down this hairline. I wanna see what she looked like. I hope it melted or something. Ooh. It looks a lot better. It's still like a little reflection-y. I don't know what that is, but it still looks, it looks so good. Look at this hair, y'all. <gasps> This is what the hair looks like. Curly, it looks so pretty. Look at these curls. Yeah, and look at that hairline. The hairline is plucked, plucked, you hear me? Let me show y'all the back. Wet and wavy hair has never, ever, ever done me wrong. Wet and wavy has been the plug. So, yeah, y'all, this is what the hair looks like. Okay, y'all, now that we have fully curled this hair, made it look beautiful, let's go ahead and mess it up. You can get your, get yourself a curly, and then we're gonna turn it back to a straight texture. But this curly texture is my vibe. So I wanna shout out to Boo James. Boo James asked if I can use the Revlon One Step dry and volumizer this was sixty dollars y'all know i love y'all but i'm about to take it back anyway so get the receipt so i'm gonna start with one side <sighs> i don't even want to mess up these curls girl let me tell you what i want to achieve i want kiki straight i want it to go back like it was before so i'm gonna turn this on high not without heat protecting though that's what we not doing hello okay so i'm gonna turn it on high
Y'all, this is the finished look. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. If you love kinky straight hair and you love curly hair at the same time, ma'am, what are you waiting on? This is so, look at this hair. Why settle for one when you can have both? So Atina hair did it again, okay? Let me show y'all the back. Can y'all see the back? Let me show y'all the back. This hair is thick and gorgeous. The wig came kinky straight, went back curly, and back to kinky straight all in one day, and it looks good. So I feel like this is like vacation hair. Um, now as for Atina hair, we have a coupon code. You know I love a coupon code over here. My coupon code is Amira15 to save $15 or to get $15 off your purchase. And I will leave that coupon code down below as well as links to the hair and links to all the products that I use. Y'all tell me what you think down below. I hope y'all love the hair. Y'all drop your comments down below and tell me what you think about this kinky straight to curly hair two in one wig, period. I don't think I really tell y'all enough that I truly, 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 truly thank you for being to subscribe to my channel. I really do. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Take a sip. Clink, 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 clink. Bye.